Denmark has been uh, given giving France a tough time uh, in the previous um, game, so it should be no different. They will uh, prove being a, a very difficult challenge to overcome because they've got a great dynamic, very good players, um, manager, and yeah, it's a very positive atmosphere in this in this squad. We can feel it. Fans, uh, depend if uh, Rafael Varane starts, but got a bit of an inexperience uh, central defense and also playing uh, together as a as a line. Those guys haven't had many games together, so um, they will be uh, tested in that game. I think more than they've been against Australia. No, I don't, because at the Euro, the dynamic was very good with the other players, with Mbappé, Griezmann. So, Karim, uh, yeah, no, I think it's, it's a big loss. And um, the, we are lucky that Olivier Giroud is in great form with AC Milan and he is uh, bringing that uh, confidence and, and and class into the, the national team. So, um yeah, it would have been better to have two two top two top number nine, but um, so far so good in, in the one game. I believe he's gonna break it. Hopefully, next game. Um, yeah, his name will be there, and uh, that's it. You know, when uh, you you achieve that, that means you have quality and. He's, um, yeah, he's not competing for Ballon d'Or, but at the highest level, when you play for Arsenal, Chelsea, AC Milan, Champions League, you compete for titles, you win titles. Um, he's up there with the, with the best ones. Between Kante, Pogba, Mania, uh, King Pembe, but he will give opportunity like uh, you know Pamecano, uh, Konate, Chouameni, Rabio to to take uh, take the the stage and and showcase their talent and and be important part of of the team going forward. So um, I think they've got uh, they've got to. Uh, to, to show and, and believe in themselves, I think they can they can help the team uh, to progress, and hopefully they will gain enough confidence and um, they will get to know each other and uh, play as a as a team fast enough so uh, they will be able to manage the uh, difficult times. If Rafa is available, he should, he should start to bring uh, his experience. He's a leader, he's, he's a world champion, he needs to, to start whenever he's, he's fit. So it's up to, to the medical staff and to, to the, the manager to, to decide and assess. But uh, yeah, if we can secure that qualification against that mark by after a win, that would be great. And, uh, Hopefully, he can start. The goalkeeper was amazing for Japan. Those saves, wow. So, decisive moment, you know, four saves in a row at some point. It was, <laughs> it was amazing. So, yeah, uh, for Germany, the next game will be extremely important. Um, and that's 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 determined. You, you they, I think they run into a bit of bad luck against uh, Japan. I'm not taking anything away from Japan because they, they played extremely, extremely well in the second half. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a tough one again for for Germany with your back against the wall in the second game. You will have to uh, hold their nerves.
the thing is with Niklas he's uh, he's a bit of a fresh air you know he doesn't pressure it doesn't doesn't mean anything to him he just uh, um, wants to play to enjoy himself and, and to score goals so it's if he has the opportunity to play I think he can can bring something interesting for Germany. And Spain has been on fire, so uh, you ask me today, I, I don't give them a lot of chance to to stay in the tournament. No, they have to win. Yeah. <laughs> they have to win because Japan, we expect Japan to beat Costa Rica. Yeah, so it's, it, it is do or die for, for Germany, unfortunately, in the next game.